What's up guys, welcome back. Lately we've been focusing on a lot of quick recipes, but today I'm showing you how to make everything from scratch. I'll be showing you my recipe for chicken noodle soup. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. And this episode is sponsored by stamps.com. If you got a small business, you know that there's absolutely nothing more valuable than your time. So stop wasting it on trips to the post office. Stamps.com makes it easy for you to mail and ship right from your computer. Save time and money with stamps.com by sending letters and packages for less with discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Since 1998, Stamps.com has been an indispensable tool for nearly 1 million businesses. Whether you're in office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. It's definitely made mine easier since I've been shipping out all of these all-purpose seasonings across the country. So I want you guys to save time and money with Stamps.com. There's no risk, and you get a special offer that includes a four-week free trial, plus free postage, and a digital scale. All you gotta do is go to stamps.com slash Mr. Make It Happen for your four week free trial plus free postage and a digital scale. That's stamps.com slash Mr. Make It Happen. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. All right, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. You can't have chicken noodle soup without chicken, so we're going to roast a whole chicken for this recipe. The chicken is going to be utilized for the actual chicken noodle soup and we're going to make our own broth. So for this, we're going to need two carrots and two onions. Those veggies are going to act as a barrier between our chicken and the bottom of the skillet. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this, guys. You can cut the onions in half or quarters, chop up the carrots. Those are going to go in the bottom of the Dutch oven. The chicken's going to go on top of those. And speaking of the chicken, today we're using a three to four pound whole chicken that we're gonna clean up and season with a little all-purpose seasoning or a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. I recommend using the necks as well because this is gonna help add more flavor to our chicken broth a little bit later. If you really wanna skip this step and save some time, you can use a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, but today we're showing you how to do everything from scratch, including the chicken broth. And chicken, obviously, is a very important ingredient in chicken broth. So break out your favorite all-purpose seasoning or just a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder and season the chicken generously applying an even coat on all sides of the bird. And then you want to break out your roaster or Dutch oven like I'm using today and then preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're going to roast this chicken for about 45 to 60 minutes or until the chicken breast registers 165 degrees internal temperature. Then we're going to remove that chicken from the Dutch oven and use all the left behind flavor to start on our chicken broth. And there will be tons of flavor in that pot. As always guys, specific measurements and ingredients are included for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Moving on to our veggies that we need for this stock. We're going to use one leek, carrots, celery, onion, peppercorns, parsley stems, thyme, and bay leaves. Really you can use whatever you got left in the fridge. This is a great way to utilize any unused produce. So don't throw away those parsley stems. And you can always freeze your chicken wing tips and spine when you make a spatchcock chicken for this recipe also. Now we're gonna chop one to two onions. We're gonna leave the skin on. The skin actually helps darken the broth a little bit. I know I keep using broth and stock interchangeably. Technically a broth is made with meat and veggies and a stock is just made with bones. So today we're making a chicken broth which is perfect for chicken noodle soup. And since we're headed into the holidays, a homemade chicken broth or even chicken stock really amps up the flavor in a lot of your holiday recipes. So definitely give this recipe a try. This is one of those things that really turn a good meal into a great meal. You don't need to peel the carrots because we're not going to eat those. We're just borrowing their flavor for our broth. Thank you, carrot. So chop them however you please. Do the same thing with your leeks. And once all of the produce is chopped, we're going to add that to the pot here in just a second. Another quick reminder, guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. Also, let me know in the comments if you plan on doing this. I know this takes a little bit of time, but it will be the absolute best chicken noodle soup you've ever had in your life. We're going to add one head of garlic to the party as well, because why the hell not? Our chicken is finally done. It's come up to 165 degrees. We're going to remove it from the Dutch oven and place it on a cutting board. Allow it to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. There is all of our hard work left behind in the Dutch oven. Once the chicken has cooled enough to handle, we're going to go ahead and break it down. So we're going to remove the leg quarters first. We're basically going to remove all of the meat from this chicken, leaving behind a little bit of meat on the back and breastbone. We're going to get all the good stuff to chop up and put into our chicken noodle soup. So we've made our chicken. We're making our own broth. We're doing everything but making the noodles. I'm being honest, guys. I didn't make the noodles from scratch. So sue me in the comments if you must. 
So we're gonna add the chicken wings in there along with the chicken carcass, which is comprised of the breast and spine and all that deliciousness in there. Go in with all those veggies and then we're gonna fill this up with water. Can't forget the peppercorns. And you just want this to simmer away for about two to four hours. Some recipes call for it going a little bit longer, but I find two to four hours is really the sweet spot. As it comes up to a simmer, some of the fat and impurities will kind of float to the top. You just want to spoon those off and do that every 30 minutes or so. You don't really want to bring this to a boil. You want it to be at a very gentle simmer like you see right here. And just let that roll for about two to four hours. Like I said, it'll have your house smelling amazing. You're going to have liquid gold that you can add to any recipe you want. But today we're making chicken noodle soup. So we need chicken. The chicken is cooked beautifully. We're gonna shred this up. You wanna remove any skin, cartilage, bone, anything like that that you don't want in your soup. And then you can use your hands or two forks or just a knife and chop this up into bite-sized pieces. If you have to use a shortcut, you can use a store-bought rotisserie chicken, that's fine. Or you can use a leftover chicken from the night before. This is how our broth is looking after four hours. And now it's time to prep the veggies for our soup, which we are gonna peel the carrots for that and chop them up nice and fine along with some celery and onion. We're gonna strain the liquid gold through this mesh strainer. And that my friends, is absolute money right there oh man you can freeze this stuff you can put it in a container and put it in the freezer it'll keep for a while you always want to taste it to make sure that it's seasoned properly we haven't really added any salt to this yet there's so much depth of flavor in that broth you really got to taste it to really see the difference now it's time to make our soup. So we're going in with two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add all those veggies to the same pot that we made our chicken and our broth in. Just tons of flavor in this Dutch oven. Then we're going in with some all-purpose seasoning. And again, a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. You can use my AP seasoning or whatever your favorite store-bought all-purpose seasoning is. Give that a good mix. Cook those veggies down for about two to three minutes until they begin to soften up a bit. Then we're going in with about a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. I actually like my chicken noodle soup to be a little bit thick, kind of like Chick-fil-A's is. Surprisingly, one of my favorite chicken noodle soups out there. And that all-purpose flour is gonna help this form a bit of a roux and kind of thicken things up a touch. Once we've cooked off the raw flour taste for two to three minutes, we're gonna add in that liquid gold or chicken broth that we made from scratch. That's way better than the store-bought stuff. I know it takes a little extra effort, guys, but I promise it's worth it. Bring that up to a boil, and then we're gonna add our egg noodles, which, full disclosure, we did not make from scratch. Nobody's got time for that, right? Give that a good mix and boil them per package instructions, usually anywhere from five to nine minutes, depending on which brand you use. And this, my friends, will cure the common cold. You really can't beat a good homemade chicken noodle soup. Once the noodles are just about done, we're gonna add that shredded chicken from earlier that we made from scratch or bought from the store. I'm not judging you. Give that a good mix, and then you wanna season this to taste. Make sure you taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. Let me know in the comments if you plan on giving this recipe a try or if you want me to stick to the short and sweet stuff. I know some of us are a little bit lazy when we get home from work, but I promise on a good weekend afternoon, it's worth the extra effort to make your own broth. We're gonna go ahead and plate this up, get you guys a trademark money shot, just a little chopped parsley for a pop of color. Say it with me guys, looking good. It really doesn't get any better than that, guys. I know I say that a lot, but I promise this is the one. Grab myself a spoon going for the taste test. Here is the moment of truth. Let's see if all that extra effort was worth it. And damn it, it was. Let me know what you think in the comments. We got to crumble the crackers up old school style. Get in there for one more bite. And that, my friends, is my recipe for chicken noodle soup. If you like the recipe, give your boy a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.